SCP-942, Object Class Safe, Disruption Class Dark, Risk Class Notice. SCP-942-1 are colored gumballs of standard 2.53 cm size. From the moment an instance of Dash 1 is ingested, the consumer's bodily fluids will take on the appearance of blood leaving the subject's body. The fluids will coagulate like normal blood and are indistinguishable from blood by sight, smell, or touch. However, observation by means other than the aforementioned, such as chemical analysis or infrared spectroscopy, will indicate the original substance. Other than coagulation, the fluids show no anomalous reactions or chemical processes. The subject's actual blood and the properties of bodily fluids while remaining inside the body appear to be unaffected. The nasal cavity and the surface of the eye are not entirely free from the effect, resulting in the appearance of bloodshot eyes, tears of blood, and a constant low-intensity nosebleed in affected subjects. Regions prone to sweating, such as toes or armpits, will be covered near perpetually in crusts of dried blood, and affected subjects have reported considerable discomfort during urination. Subjects have been known to suffer panic attacks after exposure. It is believed these are mundane reactions to the effect of the object and not anomalously caused by the object itself. This includes panic attacks where the subjects will attempt to remove the excess blood, in some cases leading to severe bodily harm and dehydration. Obsession with personal hygiene and hypochondria are also to be considered mundane reactions. SCP-942-2 is a small bubblegum dispenser for home use of a model produced by... Dash 2 is unremarkable in all respects other than its apparently infinite supply of Dash 1. Preliminary testing has shown that the dispenser can be damaged normally, and is primarily composed of an unremarkable plastic. Due to the ease of containment, destructive testing has been halted to avoid negating the anomalous effects. Research into how the dispenser refills its supply of Dash 1 is ongoing. The words, try something different today, sweet and candy red, are engraved on the underside. Footnotes. 1. Currently, Dr. Ian Blunt. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-942-2 is to be stored in a locked safe deposit box at site. Low-risk object storage. Access is to be limited to experiments with prior written permission from the current SCP-942 lead researcher. Any personnel affected by Dash 1 must remain within Foundation controlled facilities at all times. Contact with civilians, personnel without level 2 clearance on SCP 942 or other anomalous items is strictly forbidden for affected personnel. Affected personnel are to be given a higher priority for psychological screening and aid. Any civilians affected by Dash 1 are to be recruited or terminated, with suitable cover stories on a case-by-case -case basis, as no cure is available at this time. If additional instances of it dash to are encountered, the object is to be retrieved as soon as possible, and the surrounding area checked for affected subjects. Destruction of additional instances of dash to is authorized if retrieval proves infeasible. <laughs>